Coaches rivalry week open, kick it off on Thursday night at uh, Lafayette. They're playing pretty well, 13 and six overall. Cedric Russell's had a big year, averaging over 18 points, but they've got a balanced scoring lineup with four guys in double figures. They have four guys that are kind of doing it every night. And uh, uh, you mentioned Cedric Russell. He's having a great year. You know, his career's kind of been up and down through uh, his first three years and had a big name coming out of high school and, uh, you know, had some good games but and some not so good games too. And it's kind of been up and down, but not this year. He's playing really well, in particular in conference play. Shooting 47% from the from the three-point line, 45% from the field, leading them in free throw attempts. He's doing it all, and uh, so you add that along with those other three guys that are averaging double figures, and they got a nice core now. They're they're, they're a talented team. Your team has had a tough stretch here, but lost a lot of close games, seven of them by five points or less. They've been pretty resilient though thus far in terms of coming back and getting back to work. You know, I, I know we've lost uh, a bunch of games in a row. The team knows uh, we've lost a bunch of games in a row. But I, I am proud of them, really proud of them, and told them again this week of uh, their resolve, uh, their ability to, uh, after a tough weekend, a close loss or two close losses, as it's been many times, uh, to you know, kind of gear back up the next week, have good preparation, you know, understand that we can still get better as a as individuals, still get better as a team. Figure out, still can. There's a way to figure out how we can win some of these close games. Uh, they've been resilient in that respect, and and uh, that doesn't always happen when you lose as many games as as we have in a row, and and a bunch of close losses that uh, it's demoralizing. And uh, but they they've hung in there with us. Uh, really proud of them in that respect, and we're going to do it again this week. And here down the stretch, Coach, I know you've worked to try to find that third consistent double-figure score. You've had two every night, but getting that third consistent score has made a big difference during those scoring droughts especially. It does. It seems like in every one of these close losses, we have a little three-minute, four-minute, five-minute stretch where, uh, you know, we don't score uh, like we've been scoring. And you're right, you know, it, it, it needs we need a third guy or possibly a fourth guy, you know, to, uh, to step up and, and kind of help us in, in that uh, stretch. And uh, we're still searching for it. You know, some, some nights it's been Josh Nicholas. Some nights it's been Marco Morency, uh, you know. Uh, but we need, somebody, we, we need somebody to really step up and be steady with it uh, as we finish out the regular season. When you go back and look at that UTA series, your defense played well in both games, held yeah. them to a low field goal percentage, under 60 points in scoring. It's one of those things, though, where your defense now needs to be rewarded, though. But they've really given a great effort. You know, I, I told them on Monday as we started uh, going, uh, preparing for Lafayette, uh, how proud I was of them about their defense this past weekend. We guarded them really, really well. And uh, I mean, extremely, extremely well. Maybe, maybe our best defensive effort of, of the season. And uh, unfortunately, you know, that group that was out there was struggling on offense. And, uh, uh, you know, it, uh, sometimes your offense has to help your defense. And uh, it didn't really happen uh, when we needed it to. It wasn't the whole game. We played good offense at times during those games. But we had stretches, no question, that on the offensive end where we didn't help our defense and, and we ended up falling short. Might have an opportunity to get Langston Powell back this weekend. Had an uh, injury early in the preseason to his knee. How big of a lift could he provide, even if he doesn't get extended minutes right off the bat? Well, I think uh, if we can get Langston back uh, maybe this weekend, if they clear him. Uh, he just started back practicing with us this week. Uh, you know, he provides a, so, a lot of things. First of all, he was playing really, really well, the best he's ever played here before, before the injury. And he's not in game shape and all that right now, and, and uh, that'll take a while. But what he does bring is a competitive spirit to a practice, uh, an energy guy. Uh, Langston loves to play. You can feel it. We, we felt it in our practices so far this week. Even though he's not necessarily full speed, it's still uh, something different than, uh, that we've missed. It'd be great to have him back if we can get him. And again, with it being uh, Lafayette this week, it's a true home and home series as opposed to the the series that you've had in the past. How will you manage that day in between? You're used to playing back to back game now. So now you're going to have Friday off. Well, we'll go back to you know how we've done it in the past, and uh, you know the the Friday uh, is a recruit recruit day, uh, adjustment day. Uh, you know, some sometimes go live, sometimes not, depending on 
uh, if we need to. And we really have to draw back to our old experiences of playing Thursday, Saturday, as opposed to what, we, what we've been doing. And uh, it'll be nice to get a, a, a day in between games. You know, the, the Friday, Saturday deal is a tough deal. It's a tough deal physically on the players, mentally on everybody. Uh, I haven't talked to one coach yet that necessarily like, and we all voted for it, but that's because of the COVID, but nobody likes it. It'll be nice to have one day in between.